In this video, we're going to derive consumer demands for good x and good y from the direct utility function and then the indirect utility function where we use Roy's identity. So we'll start with deriving the demands from the direct utility function. Here's our utility function. And here is our constraint. M is money income. Get the price of good x, price of good y, units of good x, and units of good y. First thing we'll do is get the marginal utility of good x, taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to x. The derivative of 2 times the natural log of x is just 2 over x. And the marginal utility of good y is just 1. Forming our utility maximizing condition, the marginal rate of substitution, or the ratio of the marginal utilities equals the ratio of the prices, making our substitutions. The marginal utility of good x divided by the marginal utility of good y is just 2 over x. And we're going to solve for x. And that is the demand for good x. To get the demand for good y, we're going to take this result and plug it into our budget constraint. So where we have an x, we're plugging in 2 times the price of good y divided by the price of good x. And now we're going to solve this equation for y. The prices of good x cancel here. Moving some things around and dividing through by the price of good y, we have the demand for good y. So now we're going to derive the demands from the indirect utility function. So once again, our utility function. We found the demand for good x and the demand for good y. To get the indirect utility function, we're going to plug these demands into our utility function. We'll call that v for our indirect utility function. So where we have an x, we're plugging in the demand for good x. And where we have the y, we're plugging in the demand for good y. We can simplify this a little bit. Okay, following the rules of natural logs. And then I'm just going to move this price of good y into the numerator. So just rewriting our indirect utility function again. And now we're going to take a couple partial derivatives. We're going to take the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income. And we just get back here the price of good y raised to the minus 1 power. And then we're going to take the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the price of good x. So the derivative here, uh, partial derivative here of minus 2 times the natural log of the price of good x gives us this result. And now let's get Roy's identity, which tells us that the demand for good x will be the ratio of these partial derivatives. So it's going to be minus, don't forget the minus, minus the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the price of good x divided by the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to m. So we're making our substitutions now and then simplifying. We saw this before. That is the demand for good x. Let's do a similar thing to get the demand for good y from our indirect utility function taking the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to income, we get this result. Taking the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the price of good y, we get this result here, which simplifies down to the following. Roy's identity here to get the demand for good y, the Marshallian demand for good y, it's going to be the ratio of these partial derivatives. So the only thing different here is what's in the numerator. In the numerator now we have the partial derivative of the indirect utility function with respect to the price of good y. Making our substitutions then. Go on to the next slide to simplify this a little bit. So just rewriting that last result. Distributing this minus sign here in the numerator. And just simplifying further here in the numerator and the denominator, and then multiplying the denominator and numerator by the price of good y, it cancels to the following. And that, as we saw earlier, is our demand for good y. OK, I will stop here.